Well, good morning. It is February 12, 2023, Super Bowl Sunday. And I tell you, I got spring fever, something fierce. We had 40 degree weather yesterday. We're going to get 40 degree weather today. But and we got three feet of snow and I'm seeing people planting uh, seeds and too early uh, up here. I mean, as far as like tomatoes and garden stuff. But hey, this video is going to be about planting apple seeds. And uh, what I've been doing and this, you know, I'm saving a plant's life today. I was going through my seeds and these were some gala apple seeds that I put in the bag in the refrigerator on December uh, 22nd, so before Christmas. So what, I, what I've been doing is I love apples. So whenever I eat an apple, and I, I probably eat an apple a day. I mean, I love apples. They're convenient. They're tasty, nutritious. I have not missed a day of work in 13 years. So maybe there is something uh, truth about the old uh, apple a day it keeps the doctor away. So keep that strong. But anyways, a very inexpensive way to make apple trees is plant the seeds. So with apple seeds and, and most fruit trees, they need a stratification period, which means you got to put the seeds in the refrigerator. I use just damp sand and a Ziploc bag. And uh, I said these were put into the fridge before Christmas. And they are... <laughs> busted out. So... Let me just get one here. So apple trees have very aggressive tap roots, which is, you know, that root there. So when you're planting, if you want to do this with your kids, make sure you're using that something that's somewhat deep because if you're just using little starter traces, this thing is going to obviously, within three days, it'll be through that. Ideally, these really should be planted in the ground. But uh, I've been saving, I mean, I get a ton of seeds. So this is just uh, really more, you know, plant by uh, volume. But basically, I'm just using regular potting soil, coffee thing, get it, you know, nice and moist, uh, not too wet. And then just put a little indention in there, plant the seed. But very simple, uh, you know, that, that's not advanced. But what I want to talk about too is apples in general. Because you take your apple and, you know, and then you want to, obviously you get the seeds in the middle. I get about six to eight seeds per apple. Now, these are gala apples. Now, let's say 10 years down the road, when these are ready to bear fruit, you're not gonna get a gala apple. So I, I, I everybody, you know, I hate to break that news. So if you're thinking, all right, I'm gonna have a gala apple orchard in 15 years. I love gala apples. You're gonna be very disappointed because what happens is you have a gala apple tree. And then that produces your apple. However, to make this fruit requires a bee. So the bee's flying around, he goes to a neighbor's house and he's on a crab apple tree, and then he goes to a honey crisp, and then he comes to the gala apple onto the flower, pollinates that. So that that turns into your apple. So it's a combination, this is a combination of, yes gala but it has that pollination pollen from you know it could be a crab apple like they said it could be a granny smith so this the, the apples that that tree is going to produce is a mystery apple essentially 
it could be a green apple, it could be small, big, it could be just the most beautiful, tasty apple you ever had. So, but regardless, you're growing apples, you're providing, you know, pollen for bees, and another thing you could do is, and this is how all fruit trees, like your apple tree, if you have an apple tree you bought, let's say at Home Depot, take a look at the bottom of the tree, about three inches up, you'll see like a knot almost, or like even a little curve. That's called grafted. So what you could do, this gala apple tree, okay, right here, grows up about this big. Then you take a pruner, you snip that. And then what you could do is you can go to, there's a whole bunch of places, you know, online. You buy a scion, which is just a stick, <laughs> essentially, from, let's say you want to do a Honeycrisp apple. Your neighbor, your neighbor has a Honeycrisp apple tree. You go over there, you take a snip from that honey apple crisp tree, and then you know, it's a little more complicated, but you simply make a cut where you whack your tree off, you put that in there and you wrap tape around, uh, you know, there's, there's videos on how to graft on, uh, graft apple trees. Now, that tree is going to grow exact apples, uh, that, that type of apple, what, I, I forget what the hell I just mentioned. Uh, <laughs> so, that's how apples work. So, it's certainly not a waste of time just to, plant seeds and ah they're just they are turn out to be shitty apples not necessarily the case because you could graft onto them that you could you could let that apple tree grow up and do a couple different varieties on this apple tree or you could individually pollinize the flowers and make individual apples on the tree you could have 10 different apples just by pollinating them with different apple tree pollen. So it's a lot of fun. I encourage you to be the next Johnny Appleseed. That was a guy, uh, John Chapman, back in the 1800s. This guy, he was a, a naturalist, a nursing man, a uh, visionary. He essentially planted or introduced apple trees to Pennsylvania, Ohio, Northern Ontario, Illinois and Indiana and Northern West Virginia. So there was no apple trees there. This guy went out and planted apple, you know, seeds, grafted, you know, just, you know, that's what I would like for you guys to do. Eat your apple, don't throw your apple core in garbage. Take the seeds, the rest of it, throw it out in your yard, squirrels will eat it, you know. Or throw in your compost bin. Should, all, everybody should have a compost bin. Obviously, if you live in an apartment, that, that, that's a little difficult. But, hey, save your seeds. And uh, I got a, I'm not going to bore you to death, but uh, I got a whole bunch of seeds. Probably tough to see, but yeah, you got, I don't want to break that tap right off. I think I'll probably do about five in here, and eventually I'm going to take these bad boys up north, plant them in the ground, and uh, keep planting, planting. Heck, ten years from now, uh, we'll, we'll do a recap of this video. Uh, we'll do a Super Bowl Sunday, ten years, and uh, see what we got. Hey, make it a great day. If you have any questions, uh, comments, please leave them below. Take care.